we as a team had no common position that was discussed and agreed on. What we did agree on is that everybody would vote according to their conscience and what uh, their local politics informed them. And uh, we never mobilized anybody or lobbied anybody. We allowed all our members to vote independently, depending on uh, what they feel of their local politics and what their conscience informs them. In terms of lobbying, yes, the other side was lobbying. I, we, we can confirm that because even for, uh, for us, uh, on the other side, they were lobbying us, both in the House, uh, some with very good promises, and of course, uh, as has been said, there was also money changing hands, and uh, that, that is without a doubt. Uh, I really don't want to get into details of who was receiving what or who was giving what, uh, but you know, even in the county assemblies, money did change hands. And uh, it wasn't any different in the National Assembly. Yeah, there, there was lobbying, um, both within and outside the chamber. There was also some level of intimidation and trying to coerce people to take certain positions. But for those of us who have been firm, uh, we uh, decided to take the position that we have taken. We have never uh, said that we'll have a contest on BBI. And I think that is what needs to be very clear to everybody that we purposed from the word go that BBI was not a priority for us. It is not a priority for Kenyans. This is a reason why even now, as people are busy creating positions, we ourselves we are busy uh, uh, discussing on uh, a new economic model that will help create jobs and uplift the lives of our people. And that is what has been our focus. Therefore, in all the meetings you see us in, we have never had BBI as a discussion in any meeting. But we discuss the new economic model, we discuss how we will mobilize our people uh, for the, ne the next year's elections. The second question you asked is on uh, whether uh, the numbers yesterday portend anything politically uh, to our group. Uh, maybe you should ask those who are saying that, uh, what about those of our members, those who are supportive of the Deputy President, who voted with the other team? It doesn't mean they have changed their position, and I think you've heard a number of them state that position very clearly today, that it does not mean they have in any way changed their support and their position in terms of their political inclination, but because of other factors that influence their decisions uh, in matters uh, constitutional and the, the legislative work, then they had to vote the way they voted. And I do not think uh, this has any, uh, in any way changed the thinking of any of those members, any of our members, uh, those who are supportive of the Deputy President, those who work with us in terms of their support for the Deputy President and the cause that we are in of a bottom-up approach that will uplift the livelihoods and the lives of Kenyans uh, post this regime. How will you stop BBI? Is that a political statement? How does this portend for next year's election? Those who didn't vote, yes, are traitors. Um, the other question on how we intend to stop BBI, I think as we have said, we uh, stated from the word go that BBI for us will not be a contest before the main contest. Our contest with our opponents is in next year's elections, not with BBI. And therefore, we will still allow all our membership to take the position they want to take on BBI. There are those of us who have decided, come rain, come sunshine, we will oppose BBI. Uh, and I have made that clear in all my engagements, both privately and in public, that for me, I don't believe in the process. I believe the process is anchored on treachery and uh, deception. And therefore, I, I cannot be supportive of the process. And I intend to continue pushing that agenda. And, uh, uh, but that doesn't mean because as an individual I have that position, any other person has that position. We allow our people to have the democratic uh, space to decide how to uh, play their politics. Uh, but uh, we will play the same politics on the 2022 elections and on the candidate we support. That uh, you can uh, bet nothing has changed. Of course, it is consoling for the other team to imagine that uh, a few of our members who voted with them uh, are now supporting their cause. Uh, and that is a fallacy, to say the least. It's like saying, when I support the government agenda on the floor of the House, I, I am changing my political inclination. Uh, it, this is a constitutional issue, not a political issue uh, that we were voting on. And therefore, members and our, all our supporters are allowed to take whatever positions they will take. And we respect everybody's democratic right to uh, choose 
the path they choose. And uh, uh, the, the last question you asked on whether those who voted in this or the other way are traitors to anybody. Let me say, uh, whether you voted yes or you voted no, uh, you are not uh, betraying anybody and you are not a traitor to anybody. You have just taken a position informed by factors that you know yourself that has informed you. I am very clear in my mind, for instance, what informed my position and why I've taken that position and why I continue to take that position. And I will stick to my position. It is also within everybody's right to take whatever position. People also change their minds. I am sure you have seen others that have been saying they are opposed to BBI, but they will tell you now because of the uh, new constituencies that uh, this or that county that someone comes from, they say now we are supporting BBI for that particular reason, but they still have reservations on the other issues. And I think if you listen to the contributions by many members across the board, both from one side and even from their side, people would express reservations, say I support, but they were following the reservations. There are those of us who believe that other than have reservations, because 2010 we were told this constitution is good, but 10 or 20 percent was not good, and now we are talking about amending it. We are saying I will not support a process that I have reservations with. If there was an opportunity to correct the reservations that I had, we would have utilized that position. We have refused to utilize that position. Uh, for us to be able to have a non-contested referendum and be able to support it, all of us. Uh, in the absence of that, then a few of us uh, choose, or a number of us choose not to support the process. Those who support it doesn't mean uh, they are anybody's enemies. It is their right, and uh, they have a freedom to do that. And nobody should demonize them, nobody should demonize me, and uh, there are many of us who don't care what you say and uh, how much you demonize uh, those who take a position. We believe we are in a free country. And uh, may we also tell the proponents, stop intimidating people, stop bribing people, stop coercing people, convince and persuade people on the positions that they should take. Also, if you listen to my contribution in Parliament yesterday, even before the voting, I indicated in my contribution and on Hansard that we shall be bribed here, we shall be intimidated, we shall be coerced. And I asked the people of Kenya to rescue themselves from further enslavement on the ballot. And because this document now moves from parliament where people can be bribed, people can be intimidated, people can be coerced, my uh, appeal and where the contest goes now is with the people, is to appeal to the people to stand firm and defend themselves and rescue themselves from further enslavement by these people. What better do you get or let to Idhuwe to tiri na mashi dano toa vage tangu kana BBI. Idhuwe toa wa maana de pete President William Ruto. Neto ogira kumoki ya Beria. Msimamo mama wito ni ati BBI tio doa wa na hina hina tio do priority kana wa ina vata Beria maudo maria mag moja. Nato kiuga idhuwe to koro gorelia mashi ya na shiko shito maudo ina maria mego tayi ya mitori ya raia. Na mashi ni moto kore to toge zinga tia ni moto kore to toge shirira ona mshamani yeri yado ona to koro to kore to na na de pete President na tuwe hamwe. Neto gesira mahodo maria makoni ya moige, na ole ya neto ya moige ego kokira.